exhaust gas leak from underneath the van somehow which is um, seems to be loose from the clamp never mind we're gonna hit the road with some positive energy We are on day 8 of our trip. There is no sunshine today, it's a bit cooler. Look at these beautiful sand dunes. On our today's journey, we're going to explore some beautiful beaches. After a peaceful night's sleep, we are in Pembroke. Pembroke contains many ancient and Norman buildings. Pembroke Castle is an enormous castle, mostly surrounded by a mill pond. Circular paths around inside and outside of the mill pond, extensively restored in Victorian times. Castle history displays in the gatehouse rooms. It's raining. <laughs> This is Tenby. Tenby has four beaches, South Beach, Castle Beach, Harbour Beach and North Beach. Castle Beach won the Sunday Times Beach of the Year Award in 2019. There are acres of beach at low tide but still plenty of room at high tide. It's a very popular holiday destination. is Rosalie. It has a huge beach. Rosalie Bay Beach is the first beach to be awarded Britain's best beach by TripAdvisor's Traveler's Choice for the second year running. Rosalie is the third best beach in Europe and ninth best in the world. The bay has these amazing sand dunes. The views from the top is breathtaking. <laughs> is Mumbles. Mumbles is a headland sited on the western edge of Swansea Bay on the southern coast of Wales. Mumbles Pier is an 835 feet long Victorian pier built in 1898. A family run business, the pier is one of very few privately owned piers left in the UK. This site is steeped in a rich history and continues to be a popular seaside tourist attraction for families across the UK. This is Swansea. Swansea Beach stretches for five miles along Swansea Bay between the Maritime Quarter and the Nab Rock near Mumbles. It is backed by a cycle track and a coastal path. Only way to describe this beach is stunning.
traveled around 128 miles today. On day 8, we started our journey in Pembroke Dock. We visited some brilliant beaches and we managed to go around the coast and we are currently in Port Call. Eighth day of our trip came to an end. We are in a lovely campsite uh, in Port Call in Wales. We booked for two nights and we're going to stay in here. I've got to fix a couple of things uh, for the van. Uh, there is a problem with the tap in the bathroom. Uh, but it seems to be uh, playing up. Exhaust gas leak from underneath the van somehow it's getting inside the van so i have to look into that i've sort of figured it out how why um so i'm going to check that out and sort that out the heating system's exhaust pipe which is um seems to be loose from the clamp so that needs to be sorted you don't want to lose that along the road we need to do some washing in regards to the clothes because we never carried uh, like 44 days worth of clothes this beautiful campsite have a washing facility so we're going to use a washing machine to wash our clothes tumble tie them um, you know tidy iron it and we're going to head out now I am in the camper van it's in a night mode I am going to do a van tour people are thinking how the heck these guys going to stay in this small camper van uh, for 44 days I'll show you what we do in uh, for day-to-day -day living in this small camper van check out for our next video the, the van will be revealed when you think of a professionally uh, built mo motorhome now think of this this is not i have made this camper van myself it's not going to be finished as perfect uh, manufacturer motorhome only professional touch the painting so watch out for that video it will be coming out uh, in a couple of days so that's today's video we good i'm going to end the video thank you so much for watching my friends out there and please friends out there my family and family everybody's family thank you so much keep watching bye bye